Mikebot out. This is Mikebot. Today I'm going to be doing part three of the series and today's going to be the firmware upgrade. So I might incorporate a few more things into this which will make it a longer video and have more items or I might just split it up to little ones I haven't determined that yet. So uh, look in the description to see what you're looking at in this video. So I've gone ahead and moved my printer into the basement in a cooler location just to keep the machine uh, from overheating and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, the whole point of this video today is the firmware update. So um, I'm only talking about the official Ender Creelty um, firmware. I'm not talking about all the other ones available. So basically what you need to do, do is you need to go to their website, go to support, look for your printer model, and then download the firmware for your board. So my board is the 32-bit board because it's running uh, version 4.2.2, I believe. So I'm got uh, specifically the firmware for that model board and that model firmware. As you can see, my board has a little white thing. I actually printed a little backing for it to protect it. Uh, there will be a time-lapse video on that for all of you that are keeping track. So anyway, once you click the firmware download, it'll be a zip file and you put that on your desktop. Then when you open it up, there's gotta be a bunch of different folders. You look for your specific board model, your specific use case, if you have the BL Touch, the CR Touch, or any of that stuff, and you download it. So when you extract that folder, uh, you open it up, you wanna look for the bin file. Once you find that bin file, you're then gonna put it on a micro SD card. So you can either use this, or if you're like me and you have a micro SD reader, you just throw it in there. So on this card right here, I have the .bin file for my new firmware, which is going to take it from version 1.0.1 to, what was it, 1.2.1, I believe. So before you start, make sure the printer is powered off. Insert the SD card, like so. And then I'm gonna hit the power button in just a second here, but I wanna catch everything. So here we go, I'm flicking the power switch on now. As soon as it powers up, it's supposed to start the firmware update right away. So I'll just zoom in here. So it's just a clear blue screen right now. No words are showing up. It's supposed to load the file right off the memory card and do its thing. So it's just a blue screen. From what I read online, that blue screen just means it's doing the firmware update. So we'll just wait for it to do its thing. Still a blue screen, so I take it it's doing the firmware update. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I will fast forward this clip. So while I wait, I don't know how long it's supposed to take. It's at online, 30 seconds to a minute. It's clearly been longer than that. I will also post the instructions in the description. And I've also decided that I'm just gonna make this firmware update its own video as well. So look for another video as well for the glass plate upgrade and all the other little modifications and tools I bought and leveling and configuration and so on. So for now, we'll just continue to wait and hope that I didn't brick my system. All right, so that was a little rough. I had to uh, try flashing it twice. So as you can see now, I had to go back to the original firmware, then I put in the other firmware. It should only take 30 seconds. It ended up taking a really long time for some strange reason. So I'm now running Marlin 1.2.1. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn off the lights so you guys can see this better. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now that I'm finished the firmware update, just go again, see? Can't really focus it, but version 1.2.1, 2020, April 25th. I'm gonna remove the SD card, just shut it off. And then I'll turn it back on just to make sure it boots up properly. There's the Ender logo screen. 
everything is good go to the info about I mean yep still says 1.2.1 I'm just gonna try uh, moving the access a little bit actually let me do an auto home so I'll just back up the camera here all right so I'm gonna just do an auto home here just to make sure it works Um, I will mention in my configuration video what happened here. Okay, so that auto home worked. Now I'm just going to lower the bed. As you can see, the bed is lowering. So I think the firmware is all up to date and that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments below. Mike Bot out.